Now we go to the second artist that we pay homage to, to today, and that is Roberto Mata, born in 1912 and died in 2002. So let's read Roberto Sebastian Antonio, Antonio Mata, Ekeren, I don't know if I pronounce well, better known as Roberto Mata, yes, that's much simpler, was one of the, uh, one of the best known painters uh, and a seminal figure in 20th century abstract expressionist and surrealist art. What is not said here is that he was also the father of Gordon Mata Clark, a provocative uh, an architect. As here he is a painting, and I think it's important for architecture to uh, not ignore painting and not ignore art in general. Uh, and uh, we should know more about painters and, and, and painting. I think his, his painting is very good. And he is acknowledged as being uh, as being a significant uh, a significant uh, painter. Uh, there are many other significant painters. I don't know very well why. I I I I I felt like saying a few words about him and his art. Maybe because also he is the father of Gordon Mata Clark, but there is much more to it. It's not. His value in culture is not because it's not mainly because he's the, he was the father of Gordon Mata Clark, but he was a, an important painter. What we see here is very similar, actually, to uh, in this part of the painting uh, of uh, of the painting uh, <clears throat> a surrealist painting of a Romanian uh, painter, Victor Browner. Uh, 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 very, an excellent uh, surrealist painter. And it's possible that uh, Roberto Mata knew his painting because this is different from, uh, from uh, you know, his, his, his other way of, 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 of painting. I don't, I don't know if you know, but Le Corbusier said, I love engineers and I love painters, but I don't love architects. And uh, perhaps we should ask the question, why is it that Le Corbusier had affection for engineers and painters, but not architects? On the other hand, Frank Lloyd Wright said, nothing wrong with architecture except the architects. In this, <laughs> Both Le Corbusier and Frank Lloyd Wright kind of thought the same way. And I wonder why. Uh, considering that both were architects, in fact, the paradigmatic architects of, the, of, of modernity. Anyway, Roberto Mata. Uh, I think, uh, you know, painting can stir up our imagination and uh, make us less uh, prosaically anchored in what we call the concrete reality. Anyway, we'll end the, the presentation today with an architect, with a concrete reality. But uh, I think good architects somehow transcend um, you know, the, the pros of what we call concrete reality. Look at these large canvases. They are, they are quite large. And the painter is usually solitary, you know, working on the canvas. Although this was not the dream of Walter Gropius. Walter Gropius was, was his vision was of the painter contributing together with the sculptor to the building of the building. And, uh, and uh, but uh, in, in modernity, uh, well, the word modernity maybe is used uh, a little bit simplistically, in more recent centuries, the architect became a solitary figure, you know, divorced from that collaboration, fruitful collaboration 
that existed between the craftsmen and the artists and the builders, the master builders uh, in the Middle Ages. So the, the, the artist, uh, you know, had to, had to express himself in a, in a solitary way by painting canvases. Since he couldn't paint any longer ceilings of cathedrals and so on, but uh, there is value, of course, in these um, solitary works of the modern artists.